We'll now look at arithmetic in bases, how to add and how to multiply in particular. Let's start with some numbers in binary. 1010 zero, zero, base 2 and 1011 one, one, base 2. If I choose to add these, we'll add these the same way we've always added. 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2, but 2 actually doesn't mean anything in binary. It means 10. So we have to write down the 0 and carry the 1. 1 plus 0 plus 0 is 1. And then 1 plus 1 once again is 10. So my final answer, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1 base 2. For my next example, we'll do 72 base 8 plus 67 base 8. Always start with the right. 7 plus 2 is 9. Well, 8 goes into 9 once with 1 left over. We then have 1 plus 7 plus 6, which is 14. 8 goes into 14 once with 6 left over. And then this final one can just be brought down since there's no more addition. So the sum of these is 161 base 8. We'll now look at multiplying. And essentially to do this, we need to use the way we multiplied when we very first learned how to do multi-digit multiplication. We start with the number on the right. 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times 1 is 1. We have 1 times 0 and 1 times 1. My second digit is a 1. 1 times 0. 1 times 1. 1 times 0. 1 times 1. My third digit is a zero, so when I multiply, I'll just get a bunch of zeros. And then finally, one times zero, one times one, one times zero, one times one. And now we want to add this. This is zero, one, zero, one. One plus one is actually 10. So now I have a one and a one. So my final answer, one, one, zero, 1, 0, 1, 0, base 2. A slightly more complicated multiplication example, 72 times 67, base 8. We start the same way. 7 times 2 is 14. So now the question is, how many times does 8 go into 14? Well, once with 6 left over. So we carry the 1 and write down the 6. 7 times 7 is 49, plus 1 is 50. How many times does 8 go into 50? Well, it goes in there 6 times with a remainder of 2. Then we can bring down this 6. Now we'll multiply by the 6. 6 times 2 is 12. 8 goes into 12 once with 4 left over. 6 times 7 is 42, plus 1 is 43. 8 goes into 43 5 times with 3 left over. And then we can bring down the 5 since there is no more multiplication. This is 6. 4 plus 2 is 6. 6 plus 3 is 9. 8 can go into 9 once with 1 left over. And then we have 6. Therefore, our final answer, 6166 six, six, base 8.